The Grand Canyon, renowned for its striking stratified bands of red rock, is one of the most iconic natural landforms in the United States and the world. It stretches 446 kilometers in length and reaches a depth of up to 1.8 kilometers. The canyon's width is equally impressive, with the narrowest point measuring 6.4 kilometers and the widest expanding to 29 kilometers. Often referred to as the basement of history, it serves as a geological archive, with each rock layer representing a distinct prehistoric period since the Earth's formation. Number 1. Astonishing Prehistoric Discoveries in the Grand Canyon a recent find in the Grand Canyon has stunned scientists and sparked global interest. During a hike along the Bright Angel Trail, geologist Alan Krill spotted a rock with unusual markings resembling footprints. He took photos and sent them to Stephen Rowland, a paleontologist at the University of Nevada, Las Vegas. Rowland's analysis revealed these were ancient, fossilized tracks estimated to be about 313 million years old, making them the oldest vertebrate tracks found in the Grand Canyon. The prints are thought to belong to an amniot, a prehistoric egg-laying animal with a hard shell. The rock, which fell from the Monica Cacha formation, was preserved due to the sand's protective qualities. The fossilized tracks showed two reptilian animals moving diagonally across the boulder. One was about a foot long and displayed a unique sideways stepping pattern. Scientists are debating whether these tracks were made by two separate animals or one moving at different speeds. This discovery not only highlights the early presence of crawling vertebrates in the region, but also provides evidence of amniotes living in dunes millions of years earlier than previously known. Despite its importance, the find is controversial with some scientists questioning the interpretations and dating. Nonetheless, Krill's discovery has been praised for uncovering such significant ancient evidence in a heavily trafficked area. Before moving on, share this video, hit the subscribe button, and don't forget to share your thoughts in the comment section below. Number 2. The Mogolon Monster One of the most intriguing legends of the Grand Canyon is the Mogolon Monster, or Arizona's Bigfoot. Believed to inhabit the dense forests of the Mogollon Rim, this creature was first sighted in 1903 by explorer Ingvald Walter Stevens, who described it as a large, hairy humanoid with immense strength and agility. Cryptozoologist enthusiast Don Davis also reported seeing the Mogollon monster during a Boy Scout trip in the 1940s near Payson. He described it as a large, hairy creature with expressionless eyes and a square-shaped face and head. Reports suggest the creature is over seven feet tall, walks upright, has two-inch long claws, and emits a pungent odor. It is known to mimic wildlife sounds and make an eerie noise resembling a woman's scream. Despite these accounts, scientists attribute sightings to either a bluff or a misidentified bear. The existence of the Mogollon monster remains unconfirmed, but if you hear a piercing scream or see wide footprints on the Mogollon Rim, it might be wise to avoid the area. Number 3. Remarkable Finds of Sloth Dung and Mummified Bats The Grand Canyon's hidden caves offer a fascinating window into the distant past. These diverse caves, ranging from narrow crevices to expansive chambers, have preserved ancient remnants of life, including sloths, mountain goats, and bats. In Rampart Cave, discovered in 1936, researchers uncovered dung piles initially thought to be recent. However, further analysis revealed they came from a giant sloth that vanished over 10,000 years ago. Radiocarbon dating placed the dung at 11,000 to 40,000 years old. Studying the plant matter within provided insights into the sloth's diet and the area's vegetation, including globe mallow and Mormon tea. The caves also revealed skulls of Harrington mountain goats, described by paleontologist Chester Stock as a smaller variant of modern mountain goats, which disappeared alongside the Shasta ground sloth. Additionally, mummified bats and condors were found, with some specimens exceptionally well-preserved. 
Biology professor Steve Emsley discovered that these condors likely preyed on now-extinct megafauna, a diet that contributed to the demise of the bats as well. Number 4. The Colorado River is facing a crisis. The Colorado River, which originates in the Rocky Mountains and stretches about 1,150 miles, is a key feature of the American West, flowing through stunning landscapes like the Grand Canyon. It then travels through deserts and wetlands before reaching the Gulf of California. However, the river is now in serious trouble. Over the years, major reservoirs along the river have dropped to critically low levels due to extensive water diversion for rapidly growing cities such as Los Angeles, Phoenix, and San Diego. The Glen Canyon Dam, built to redirect the river's flow, has exacerbated the problem. Though it provides water for various uses and creates Lake Powell, the dam's low water levels are insufficient for hydropower and are causing severe shortages. Environmentalists warn that if no action is taken, the river could dry up, affecting water supplies for millions in California, Arizona, Mexico, and Nevada. They are calling for updates to the dam's infrastructure to restore adequate water flow into the river. Without immediate changes, we risk losing this vital natural resource and one of the world's iconic landscapes. Number 5. Discovery of Uranium in the Grand Canyon The Grand Canyon, sacred to at least 11 Native American tribes, faces a significant threat from uranium contamination. Numerous uranium mines and hundreds of mining claims just outside the park endanger this natural wonder. Uranium deposits in the region are found in breccia pipes, attracting miners since the 1870s. Mining near the Grand Canyon began in the 1950s with the Orphan Mine. Today, at least eight uranium mines have operated near the park, including the active Pinion Plain Mine, the highest-grade uranium mine in the U.S. A surge in uranium prices in the mid-2000s led to thousands of mining claims around the Grand Canyon. However, a 20-year mining ban in 2012, achieved through local and native community efforts, covers one million acres around the park. The Havasupai tribe, reliant on a spring-fed creek, fear pollution from the canyon mine. Despite the temporary ban, nearly 600 mining claims remain active as of May 2022, with companies awaiting the ban's expiration. Efforts to permanently prohibit new mining operations have yet to succeed. Number 6. The Case of the Disappearing and Reappearing Bodies In 2021, a body was discovered in the Grand Canyon at Yavapai Point, 430 feet below the rim. It was identified as 45-year-old Gabor Birchi Tongsanyi, who had been reported missing. Authorities also found a second body, identified as Scott Walsh, who had been missing since 2015. Walsh's remains were found nearly five kilometers away, camouflaged against the surroundings. The mystery of these discoveries was explained by hidden gaps in the canyon's rock layers. These concealed spaces had kept secrets from view, leading to unexpected discoveries. In a related find, a large box-shaped object was extracted from the canyon, sparking curiosity and speculation. Some wondered if it held ancient remains or clues about the Mogollon monster. The box remained sealed due to its enigmatic nature. What do you think might have been inside? Would you have chosen to open it? Number 7. Grand Canyon Luxury Suite Nestled 220 feet underground in the Grand Canyon is a unique luxury suite originally built during the 1961 Cuban Missile Crisis by President John F. Kennedy. Designed to shelter over 2,000 people for a month, it never fulfilled its intended purpose and has since become a tourist attraction. Touted as the world's quietest, darkest, and oldest underground hotel, its caverns date back 65 million years. The suite's dry climate has preserved emergency rations, keeping them fresh even after 40 years. Amenities include a lounge, television, record player, beds, and a library. Water is supplied by hand. Visitors can experience this remarkable historical suite for a nightly rate of $900. Number 8. The Terrifying Formation of the Grand Canyon 
The Grand Canyon stretches 277 miles long, up to 18 miles wide, and over a mile deep, showcasing billions of years of Earth's history through its intricate rock layers. Its formation began 70 million years ago, during the late Cretaceous period. Tectonic activity and the uplift of the Colorado Plateau raised the land, setting the stage for the canyon's creation. About six million years ago, the Colorado River began carving through the plateau, exposing a range of geological formations. The river's erosion, influenced by climate changes and the presence of harder rock layers, shaped the canyon's dramatic cliffs and steep slopes. Visitors can witness this ongoing erosion as the Colorado River continues to shape the canyon, a testament to the dynamic forces of nature and Earth's geological past. We hope you enjoyed this video and shared it with your friends. Thank you for your wonderful comments. See you in the next exciting video.